or let's start. Okay, so hello everyone. So today we're gonna cover about the chapter 11 for the bookmarking. So bookmarking is a kind of like a kind of like a one one another another function of the shiny apps because uh, one of the drawbacks of the shiny app is uh, it cannot be saved our previous work and then uh, it is impact it is not allowed to for uh, us to share the what we currently got about the, some modeling or some data visualization. So uh, to share the, those kind of uh, outcome. We actually there is actually a function called the bookmarking. So that means it literally uh capture the what capture the current state of the app as a URL and then uh, that by sharing the that URL we can actually share our current state of the outcome or maybe some visualizations uh in a shiny app. So what's the basic idea in here is that Oh, okay. Here is a some uh here is a some example about the some pages. So this is a just kind of a simple kind of a, a shiny app that allows us to the uh, drawing the some of the, the mathematic curves, and then in this case we can actually got the this kind of a outcome as a shiny app. Create a shiny app, but the problem is, whenever we changing the maybe for example like omega or delta or dampling, we can have a, this kind of outcome. But the thing is, whenever we whenever we learn, uh, whenever other people in their computer they learn the learn the, this shiny app, they do not have the same result. To do that, they actually adjusted the, this kind of uh, maybe values. To prevent, uh, maybe to to make it much easier to share the some of the current outcome of the shiny app, that that's the where bookmark uh, function come uh, came from. Okay, so there is a three things we have to do that to make this app the bookmarkable. Which one? First one is we have to add in the bookmark button, like uh, by clicking the that bookmark 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 button. We can actually save the death state and then uh, sharing death state to the other people. Okay. And then uh, the other thing is that we have to turn UI into the functions. And then and then also try to add in the when we try to learn the shiny app, we actually able to the bookmarking equals to URL to call the that bookmarking uh, options. So to do that, when you compare it to the previous like a previous code in here, maybe right next to right next to the uh in here in this part in here we're gonna adding adding the bookmark button option as a UI. This one gonna be the we're gonna call the bookmark adding the bookmark button as a UI button in Shiny app. Right, and then when we run the shiny app, we are gonna have a bookmark. So, so to do that, okay, here's the okay. So when you see the this panel, actually, uh, when when we run the original code. It, it has uh, this kind of outcome, but and then uh, maybe for me, I can just uh, kind of uh, uh, changing whatever whatever we want, but the problem is I cannot share this kind of a uh, current state, what is called the current state of the what we what I got as an outcome to the other people other person. So to do that, what I have to do in here is as you can see in the book uh, in the book screenshot, in in the right next to the number input, I'm gonna try to bookmark bookmark button as a UI, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna adding another 
another document called the bookmarking gonna be URL. Okay, and then when I uh when I run the uh run the order command. Okay. Um Uh, I, I don't know why these things happen. Because enable to the bookmarking. I think I can, I do that correctly, right? Here. Let's do, let's done this done again. Okay. I think you means to yeah. to play the UI to a function. Huh? I don't think I don't yeah. see your your UI as a function. Yeah, it's mm. not. You need to to create a function with the request argument. What do What do you mean by that? Hold on. You go in the book example. Ah, you see a function ah. request. Yeah, the argument. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, you are correct. Hold on. Yeah, it's a it's a make it make it as a function. Yeah, that's the second second thing we have to do, right? So instead of the doing this, we're gonna try to create the UI as a function, and then. Same thing as a server. And when we create the shiny app, yeah, we will have a bookmark in here, right? And then uh, whenever we have uh, this kind of outcome, like, uh, like this, and then click the bookmark, and then we will have, uh, there is the bookmark application link in here. Uh, we and don't then see we can... the bookmark. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't... Uh... We are not watching the, the shiny app. Yeah, okay. So can you see that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah now, now we can see it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so in this case, we can create the whatever we want about the shiny app. And then when we click the bookmark, we will see the, this kind of a bookmark link. Like uh, like uh, this one is actually, this is because of the, I just learned the, this shiny app in, in the local computer. So this is the local addresses with the port. And then uh, uh, this uh, question mark actually, after the question mark, it actually lists, lists about the set of the parameter we're gonna, we're gonna use. And so that actually contains information about the, about the, what kind of inputs or what kind of a parameter we actually changed. So I got a omega 0 0.82, point delta 0 0.87, dampening is one and length and a hundred. So that's the kind of a basic that actually this URL actually contains information about the how I changing uh changing the state of the shiny app. And then I can share this one as a URL. And then by doing that, we uh maybe the other or the other person learn the, this shiny app and then uh, they can try to uh, see the by by uh, uh, also see the what I got as an outcome okay so just a control C as a copy and then whenever they uh, they learn the shiny app and then uh, they actually do the same thing they can uh, in the browser they can actually see the same result okay? Like, uh, for example, mm, let me share this one. Yeah, like this. So whenever you, whenever we share the, this kind of information, they can actually see, they also see that their same screen, screen same result in the, their browser in, when they learn the shiny app or whatever they do, okay? That's the how it works. And then uh, 
this one is actually main key of the how we can add in the bookmark to share the our our work to to the other person okay because as you can see here uh there is actually kind of a function called uh, i actually already already uh, told you about the how we can uh, analyzing, understanding that this kind of URL function, cause uh, HTTPS and then uh, these kind of things is a kind of uh, addresses that pub when you're publishing that shi shiny app to the server, and then this one is a URL, and then uh, this question mark is next to the this question mark. We're gonna we're gonna have a list of the parameter in here. These are the actually parameter. And then uh, it, each parameter has a uh, has our uh, own information about the, how we can set up the uh set up the value in the shiny app. By doing that, we can actually share the, our current state of the shiny apps. Okay, that's the kind of uh, things. So as I said, I actually learned that this kind of uh, learn this one actually locally. So in that case. I will have uh, this kind of a uh, local server addresses with a port. This port gonna be the very according to the any uh, according to the computer, and then and then other than that, all of the, these things are the same as a URL. Okay, so that's the how URL kind of works. And then updating the URL is kind of also another function we can do. Because another option is automatically updating to the URL in the browser. That means in in this case, uh in in this case, I, I would say like uh mm, uh I actually learned the, my my shiny app locally. And then, but the thing is that actually local URL does not work well when they actually uh, copy and paste and paste that URL into the, their web browser. That means we have to updating those URL based on the their their comp so that the other per your users can be share the same result as a uh, by sharing the dead URL. So that means we have to we have to try to creating the updating the URL functions. It is a little bit complicated because there is a, some of the function we have to add in up here like this like a observe and then a reactive value list and then session bookmark and then a, we have to updating the those query string. And then by doing that, when we run the command, we can actually uh have a have a have a bookmark called the uh, called uh, maybe like this, maybe at to, at the at the end like a auto. That auto actually allows you and the other user to share the same thing, even if they actually have a change the different kind of a local server information. So let's uh let's try that out. Okay. So in here when we when we what we have to do is observe observe uh parenthesis reactive value to list. Uh, is gonna be input, so that gonna be the reactive session to book mark, and then we have to updating the screen bookmark bookmark right, and then update query query string. And then, uh, maybe I think that I have to close. You, you can this. remove the bottom, remove my bottom. Yep. Mm, uh, okay. 
what is the problem with this? <laughs> ah, you need to put it inside the server function. Ah, right. This. Sorry for that. So after the plot could be after the plot function. Yeah, after the plot function in yes, here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe server and then UI function and run the shiny app. Oh. Mm. Oh. That is weird. Couldn't find the function. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I like you may spell reactive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, warning. Uh, the uh, value to list is reactive huh. values, values, no value, values. You're missing an S. Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Value. Ah, values. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, it's always have a those things. Okay, now we have the data outcome. Let me share the screen. So can you see the screenshot? The, the yes, shiny app? Yes. Yeah. So when it, in this case, when we click the bookmark, uh, oh, I can. You better go to the browser. Yeah, go to the browsers and then okay, bookmark. Oh, it doesn't show up to any bookmark kind of screen. Because you yes. maybe don't need it anymore because you're rotating the this is a mm. it disable that option. Mm. Well, you can okay. click over open in browser in the top. Mm -hmm. Do you see it after the the link or the base link? Yeah, open browser. Oh, I cannot. Yeah, I cannot see the right there. Oh. Open browser in the window. Yeah, open browser, and then. It is still, you know, it still has a, this thing when I open in the browser and then bookmark. No, but you see the, the link above is changed. Yeah, yeah, you can see the link. Yeah. Oh. That's the link. Here. Yep. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Link is okay. Yeah. So when you change it, the link that's the. Changes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, instead of showing mean... in the bookmark, it's going to show in the browser. Ah, ah, ah okay. Ah, okay. It automatically changing the the URL, right? Exactly. Correct. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. So that's the how it works. So, do you have any questions so far? So, anything? Oh, all good. Good. Okay. Yeah. So, and then the next one is a kind of a, we have to, we actually have used the URL as a kind of a, kind of a sharing the, our current state of the app. But the thing is, sometimes URL are going to be very wrong if we, we have a too many parameter to be shared or to be set up into the dash shiny app. That means our URL is going to be very wrong and then it is uh, a little bit un a little bit 
inconvenient to share the dead one. But I personally don't think so because sometimes it is necessary. It is uh, sometimes necessary for us to share the dead detail that URL because it contains about the very detailed information about the how I can set up the, our input, right? What do you think about this? Because it actually says that the, it is a very it gonna be gets very wrong. I know that I pre I part I partly agree with this, but sometimes maybe especially for the when we share the our outcome to the maybe in our research team member. Maybe the research team member also need to know about the, what kind of input parameter has changed. Actually, that URL contains, if that URL, by recognizing that that URL, we can actually understand the, all of the, those information that actually make it, make us a, more, a little bit more comfortable to understand about the, what's the change or something, rather than to the, Kind of, kind of like a, these kind of a short, uh, short kind of a URL kind of things. I think that this is gonna be the very useful. Maybe when we try to sharing, maybe the result with client. Maybe we have to share the some of the deliver the some of the outcome to the clients, for example. They don't need to know about the every detail about the input parameter in this case. That means maybe by sharing the this kind of a brief kind of a state ID or something gonna be help them to easily recognize and recognize that they'll visualize the shiny app outcome. But if I can share, maybe maybe in my case, maybe if I wanted to share my my current status. Uh, status of the shiny app to the maybe my research team member or maybe my director or my boss. Maybe they sometimes need to know about the, what kind of input has changed. That means even if the URL is going to be the very long, maybe it is worthwhile to sharing those information to the those uh, those those person, like a team member. So it depends about the working context, but Maybe this server function is a quite maybe very useful when we try to sharing the our outcome to the to the client or maybe people who do not need to know about the every detail of the of the information to to in in that shiny app. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna try to changing the bookmark. As a URL, instead of the URL, I'm gonna try to uh, uh, try to uh, try to changing the from the URL to the server. So and then you can see. Uh, you can see the shiny app like this, right? And then when you click the bookmark or maybe opening the browser, and then when we looking at the looking at the browsers, you can see the this. When you can see you can see that this is a state ID has in has been assigned. Actually, those state ID gonna be randomly assigned depending on the my current outcome. Maybe if I can changing that one, changing some of the parameter, that state ID gonna be automatically changed randomly. Okay. That's the how these things is about. Uh, okay. Now as now is a kind of a, a wrapping up kind of session is the bookmark changes, so. In here, automatically bookmarking actually lies onto the reactive graph. So that means whenever we changing the all these kind of uh, inactive graph, bookmark gonna be automatically changed, as we can see here. And then, but the thing is that there is a sometimes some cases we have to be very cautious when we try to do the bookmarking. 
for example, like uh, if we our app uses the random numbers, that means the result might be the different even if the all inputs are the same. Because uh, that is because of the we actually using the random numbers. So in that case, we actually have to the uh this this in when this uh result gonna be the not need to be the same even if even if we use the random number. To do that, we're gonna use to the repeatable kind of function. That means we're gonna try to make the shiny app more re replicable, replicable to the other users. Okay. It is uh, just kind of in R, it is it's about the, some of the set kind of function, right? By fixing the fixing the those kind of random number generator patterns, that also needs to be make the shiny app also gonna be the repeatable and the replicable. So that everyone who runs the this shiny app sh should have the same result. Okay. And also, I also have to say about the third thing, emphasize the third thing, because there is an input that should not be the bookmarked. So that means maybe private information data set. That means we have to set the bookmark exclude. By doing that, we actually ex hide, hide or not showing, not display those kind of a, a bookmark outcome. So when, when, whenever, whenever we share the link, those parameters does not shared, uh, will not be shared with other users because those are the confidential information. Okay. I think that this is it. So, and then also the exercise, exercise is the first question is a quite easy because it is a just kind of a, whenever you looking at the code in the previous pages, you can actually automatically uh, uh, manipulating the those kind of app, it is uh, just kind of a control the frequency, fractal, and then lacunarity and gain, and then making the bookmarkable means we have just kind of adding the that UI button, and then also you make the UI as a function, and then run the app. So that's the kind of things is the number one, but. But question number two is a little bit complicated because it's uh, uploading to the CSV file and then a bookmark it is a little bit kind of a different kind of outcome. So it says we can use the read RDS to look inside, but the thing is I'm not sure how I can do this. So maybe if you have any idea, maybe you can feel free to let me know how we can do this. But first question is a quite easy one, but second one is a little bit tricky depending on the what kind of RDS open file we have to do, and then how we can bookmark it as a data data frame as it is. So that's the kind of a little bit tricky part. But anyway, so in summary, so today we're gonna try to do the, how we can add in the bookmark and then how we can update in the bookmark and then how we can share those bookmark information so that people can share the same output whenever they learn the shiny app. So I think that this is it. So if you have any question. Oh, thanks. Do you have any question, anything? anything? No, that, that, that was good. Okay, so. Good. Yeah, I think that this is it. So actually, this bookmark sec chapter is uh, very short. So I just uh, try to learn, I just, that that actually allows me to have a chance to the coding, show you the R code to learn, actually learn the, what it look like and then how those things learn and works in the Shiny app, so. But anyway, so, so this is it. So I think that let me type the end here.